Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Michael, the body beat down here. <clears throat> or the body beat down Michael. However you want to go about it. At your service today, we are doing a quick little video. Not real quick, but a little video today of the tacos that I've uh, been making. This will be the second time that I've made these. Uh, maybe the second or third. I don't remember. But uh, I like to use my handy-dandy air fryer uh, to do these tacos. Um, so let me get a plate. And uh, you know, on my other channel that I've had for 175 years, Mikey Sin TV, this segment would actually be called The Everyday Kitchen. But we had some good times on there. But on the body beat down, we're just going to make a cooking video. Little video here, guys. Now, something I'm, I just started doing just here recently is getting these smaller uh, tortillas. Now, I know there's healthier options out there, but honestly, it's six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. It pretty much don't matter what you get. Just some regular old flour corn tortilla things. And what I'm making tonight is uh, lean ground turkey tacos. And, uh, yeah, uh, the last time I did them, I made chicken. And they were freaking amazing. So today we're going to do some lean ground turkey. Um, now, I don't have my ground turkey over here. I'm going to go over here and just put a little bit right here on the shell, and we'll get going. Many hours later. Hasta mio. I don't know if that's how it goes. Anyway, a little bit of lean ground turkey there. I didn't put any taco seasonings or anything in the meat. Number one, really don't need it by the time you put all the good stuff in there anyway. Number two, uh, taco seasoning always has sodium, and that's whether or not you get the normal pack or shaker, or you get like the lesser sodium versions. There's still, I don't need all that sodium. So, what we got here is failure to communicate. Already diced up a few onions. I use red onions all the time. So we'll just sprinkle a little couple little ones off in there. They're so cute. <laughs> I'm going to put a dash of pepper. Pepper's good. It don't have nothing bad for you. Pepper is good. Now, I got tomato. I was going to put tomato in there. But I'm going to go ahead and just use my salsa again. It's just easier, and plus it has tomato anyway. Um, and a lot more flavor that we're going for. I'm going to go ahead and put my cheese on now. And uh, make sure I got all my stuff. Ah, an important ingredient, guys. You almost made me forget with your beautiful smile. Got to have some uh, diced jalapenos. Jalapeno. Or jalapeno, however you want to say it. I don't know how you say it. I'm not Spanito. I don't speak Spanito. I speak an Americano. And I do like a little bit of jalapeno there. And I should have got more salsa. I'm just about out. I try to always keep one of these at all times. You can put this on tacos, burritos, uh, breakfast platters. You can put it on uh, in spaghetti, chili, all kind of stuff. So it's good on everything and anything. Just a little bit. Because these boogers get kind of difficult to close up. And I got some standard, some of my favorite just normal hot sauce from Taco Bell. This stuff's just good, has a good taste. It's not actually hot. Um, even the fire, any of it that you get is not really hot. Then we have a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. Little Louisiana hot sauce. Good God up in here. They probably got alligator off in there. I don't know. 
So I'm gonna do a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. Hey, hey, hey. Then we got some Taco Bell spicy ranchero sauce. This is good stuff too. Of course you don't have to put so much stuff if you don't want to. I'm one of those people that like to put a lot, which is kind of weird and difficult for me to use these small tortillas. I never use these. This is the only second time in my life I've ever bought such little teeny tiny tortillas. If they made tortillas that big, I'd use those. But I've been doing uh, these a couple of times now and they're, they're like you would get on the street, you know, like street vendors, uh, trucks, street trucks and all that. And you know how that food's always so amazing? That's what these taste like. So, yeah, anyway. And a while ago, I got me a nice big bundle of some cilantro. Some cilantro. I think that's more Italian. But I diced me up some cilantro real good with my cleaver. I'll use the cleaver. Leave it to cleaver. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit. Cilantro is pretty stout. You don't need a whole lot of cilantro. Personal opinion, it's pretty stout. Woo, stout stuff. And I got my normal average everyday baby spinach. I'm gonna wait to put that on and technically I should have waited to put the cilantro on because I gotta put this in there. So, what I have to do is, to make this work a little better, and to use up all of our aluminum foil, my mom would kill me. I have to kind of ball this up a little bit. And this will take up some of the room in here and kind of hold the tacos together. You'll know that once you start messing with them. Matter of fact, I'll do that now. Look at that. Now I don't have to put it in that air fryer, but what that does is that crisps up the tortilla. Look at it draining. It's it's peeing on me. That's some R. Kelly kind of stuff right there, boys. Ooh, I'm a little I'm a little excited off that. Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? Anyway, let me wipe all that pee off of there. So, as you can see, that's pretty simple to do. Uh, extremely good. I'm telling you, and like, no joke, you're going to love these. If you do this, if you've got an air fryer, and I just put mine on the highest setting pretty much all the time on 400 degrees, and I've gotten to where I know kind of how to mess with it and where I want it and, and all that with the timer. These things are amazing. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to do this one taco right now and get it done. So I can kind of show you. And uh, we'll get back to the video in just a moment. I'm lying. I'm going to go ahead and make up the rest of them. And then we'll get back to the video, okay? Guys, stick around. I hope you enjoy. Let me get a little view over here. Come on. Come on with me. See? We're going to have two more in there, and that's going to keep them nice and squished together. We got our cilantro, tortilla, diced up a jalapeno, diced up a red pepper, onion, I mean. Dang it. Uh, baby spinach, all that good stuff. And we are good to go, guys. All right. So stick around. Ow, ow. We'll have the finished product soon. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, let's get a... Lean ground turkey. Lean ground turkey. We'll be back in a minute, guys. You're going to love it. Mwah. Look. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, amigo, amigo. Ay, ay, ay. A little longer, brothers. A little longer. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, they are done. Ow. 
I gotta take the phone off of there so you can see. Now again, your times will vary. Believe me, that is not too big of a deal. Yeah, I could have took him out a few minutes sooner, but like I said, this is the only second time that I've done this. So we're going to get those out, and we're going to put a little baby spinach on them, maybe a little more hot sauce, and we'll get them going. <clears throat> Warm. Warm. Look at them buttes. And we'll put a little bit of baby spinach on there. You don't have to do all this. You can use regular lettuce, whatever you want. No lettuce. I know a lot of people don't even use lettuce. I'm a lettucey kind of guy. I've always liked, liked the lettucey taste. Um, so let me put just a dash more of some Louisiana hot sauce. So I just doctored that one up right there. So you might be saying, Michael, why didn't you just get hard shell tacos? Well, what's the big thing with hard shell tacos? What always happens? That's right. Your fingers go. Uh, I mean, the shell. As soon as you bite in, they fall apart. What you'll find with these is this part, it gets crisp up here, but the bottom stays moist where all the food and all that's at, and it keeps it from really breaking. Now, having said that, it's not perfect. All of these kind of foods are a little bit messy. We know that. So... Having said that, number one, I know I'm going to have juices coming out of here with hot sauce and everything else. So that's already a problem. See? So we're going to put a paper towel right there. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. No cracking. You still get a little bit of that crunch without the cracking. Now, you can turn your temperature down a little bit and you might get it a little bit more crisp even further down. But typically what's up higher is going to get a little bit more heat because of just how, you know, uh, those things work. Holy cow. Good, Axel. Axel. So that's what dogs are good for. Good job. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little quick little video. Not quick, but anyway. You can do whatever you want. That's just kind of how I do it. And for me, I just love a lot of ingredients. So, uh, for some people, you might just like really basic meat and cheese. Maybe cilantro. Uh, but I really like this. So anyway... If you found it a little bit entertaining, a little bit yummy, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to me, the body beat down. That's Michael, me, right here. And uh, yeah, this is how we eat. 
and uh, it's how we get big and strong. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. All my subscribers and anyone who just drops in. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you every day. Get up, get out, get red, do a tent. We'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown or Mikey Sun TV, the Everyday Kitchen. Eh. You choose. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!